In this video, we are going to solve some right triangles. Focus is going to be on using tangent. Um, that basically just means that in order to use tangent, we're going to be given or looking for the opposite and adjacent. Okay, so for example, this picture right here, here's our angle, here's our side, that one's opposite. This is the adjacent to the angle. So if those are the two pieces of information we have from this angle. That's telling us that we need to set up our equation as tangent of an angle, which we don't know, is going to be opposite, which is 14, over adjacent, which is 16. All right, so then we're going to try and solve our equation from there. The only way you can find an angle that's missing is to do the inverse tangent of that. All right, so we're going to do the inverse tangent. We're going to type that into the calculator. So we're going to do inverse tangent of 14 divided by 16, and that's going to get us 41.2 degrees. So that would be our angle. So 41.2 degrees. All right, so we go down to the next picture. Same kind of a look, same kind of a feel. Here's our angle. Here's the side across from it, which is opposite. And this side is adjacent because it's next to it. So those are the two pieces of information you are either looking for or have. And that's telling us we should be setting up our equation as a tangent. So tangent of our angle, which is 44.5 degrees, is going to equal our opposite, which we don't know, over our adjacent, which is 6. And then we're going to try to solve for A. So to isolate A, that means we're going to be multiplying 6 over to the other side. So those are going to undo each other and cancel. So A is going to equal whatever 6 times tangent of 44.5 is. 6 times tangent 44.5. That gets us 5.9. So that is our length, 5.9 centimeters. All right, and then we have one last. So here is our picture. Um, so same thing, here's our angle, here's our side that's opposite, here's our side that's adjacent. And so that tells us that we should be setting up a tangent function. So tangent of 19 is going to equal opposite over adjacent, which we don't know. All right, and then we're going to solve it pretty much exactly the same as the last one is we're trying to clear out our fraction. So we'll multiply both sides by B to clear out the fraction. Now this one, we have an extra step because we have to get B by itself still. All right, so tangent of 19 is just some value that's multiplied to B. So to get rid of that, we're going to divide by tangent of 19. All right. So we'll take tan 10 divided by tangent of 19, 10 divided by tangent of 19, and that's going to get us 29.0. Right, so B would be 29.0 centimeters. All right, and that was solving um, triangles, but they were set up to use tangent on every single every situation.